Welcome back to Ether Ace. This is week 226, day 5, and we're just going to jump into our battle again, as usual. For Mortis, <clears throat> Pathfinder, um, hmm, Fallen Indian. Alright, we got a lot of stuff to deal with today. Probably on um, be the more annoying one. Water sweep, I guess that's to counter like um, Byleth and stuff like that. I guess you could also counter Male Robin, Legendary Male Robin. Uh, they don't, well, yeah, they do. I was gonna say they don't have save, but no, they have for Mortis, which is one of the best saves out there for far save. <clears throat> Instant specials, no instant specials, but you do have to outspeed him, so. Could we outspeed him? Because this one has Bride of Fjorm, so I can't stop their Ninian. She's 65. And yeah, with three Mythics, um, I have more HP than she does. Hmm. We have to bait out Dagger, as always. So from like here. One, two, I mean, I'll still bait out um, from there. One, two, three. I would bait out all three of them, which would be a little too much. I guess I could stop it with, I can isolate um, Ninian and I can full star Dagger so she doesn't get a Pathfinder. Uh, it's Pathfinder a start of turn effect. Effective against Sun, uh, inflicts parties on foes during combat with the Fury. Calculate independently effect Pathfinder. No, I guess Pathfinder is not a start of combat effect. So I would have to like isolate this to stop their uh, start of combat effects. Alright, let's try it. I won't lose. Pressing ever forward. We might actually just be able to turn him off. So So we want to get Ike here. No, oh, here actually. <laughs> but I also want Seder to end up right here. And if possible, element to end up right here. It's not impossible, but we require Robin to break this so I can move here and then element can move right here. Then Regan can go and break this and then move over to this side. Then Seder will move right here, and Fjorm will move right here. One, two, three. So yeah, we'll go with that, I guess. I won't be able to give Ike the effect on the second turn, and I am unfortunately putting them on defense tiles. Luckily, their defenses are kind of meh. All right. I am gonna take Duma damage, but they have a healing tower, so 
I mean, uh, they have a catapult, so not much I can do on that case. I guess I could say wait for turn two, but then Seder will not activate her. Effect. All right, we're going for it. Careful, careful. All right, here we go. There's a ten damage. Just barely. It all depends on speed. Okay, so I do all speed her. Ah, man, that sucked. Alright, we can still do this. That will... Ninian didn't move, which I kind of wanted her to move. This should be fun. Unfortunately, this time I don't have the um, Robin's effect active on Ike since I couldn't put him in two spaces of him. So I do want to be careful of Arm um, getting dance. So one, two, three, four. Here he will reach Fjorm. One, two, three, four. Here he reaches Regan. Do we go with everybody? I think we go with everybody. Weird. Do you have Wings of Mercy? No Wings of Mercy. here and then I guess I should have destroyed that oh I forgot to activate his dual skill I wanted to activate his dual skill since they no longer have dual heroes all right there goes Duma Damage reduction on first hit, but not on the second hit. Come down, arm. Um. Alright, now we just gotta get rid of Formortis. And we still have to get the Ether, obviously. And we don't want to kill Ninian yet. Without a doubt. I think Careful. I can just. Careful. For Ninian, I can just stall her with Fjorm. I will go. This should be fun. Yeah, defense style is. Just need to like not have anybody next to Ike. So when for if for Mortis lives and get dance, he cannot move two spaces. The future is in sight. 
All right, so where do I want the food? This should be fun. You don't want to feel him right here, I guess. You want her to be not winning two spaces to negate debuffs. Pressing ever forward. Yeah. All right, we break this. And Regan can stay where she is. We'll carve a path. Clear up. I'll try my best. Be careful. Let's find happiness. Hmm. Without a doubt. Alright, would this be enough to one shot for Mortis? Here I go. Me too. It was. Alright, from here on it's just getting the ether. Sounds weird. Over here? Here I can reposition you here, but is that going to be the real one? There's a possibility of being the real one. Is there a problem? I will go. I see a way forward. Without a doubt. We'll You go over here, then I can go behind you on the next turn. Yeah, next turn is an odd turn. No, that was not the real one. Okay. Careful, careful. Then we just take out the Ninian. Alright, there we go. Puzzle solved. Cool. Yeah, like, uh, the only reason why that Linde survived was the defense style. But her taking the defense style meant that... Uh, um, Dagger wasn't able to take out the defense style herself. Shield session. Interesting. All right. That. Um. Alright, so we got rematched twice. This is the person we fought yesterday. And for this one, um, this is the person that had the uh, the team with no weapons. So they actually commented on the video uh, in which we fought him. And they mentioned that they just put the team out there just to give people free wins. And it wasn't really a bait team. And I didn't notice it when I saw it, but it was supposed to be a Choose Your Legends um Boring gauntlet, um, kind of like theme team for it. Uh, they did ask us to uh, for a mock battle on their team, and uh, we'll probably do that tomorrow, uh, since today is a work day and I'm about to leave in a few minutes. So, yeah, um, but yeah, they said this, it was an efficient team, they just want to give people free wins. All right, so you can tell what kind of team this is just by looking at it, because I think this is the second one this team this week. Azura, Ninja Corin, Alamine, Altina, Edelgar Tina, 
and Thor. Alright, so make some room to go after the, be able to go after the pots. Get rid of the All right, ball tower. Go after Alfred. I don't think it's necess it was necessary. And maybe if they were going with Edelgar after uh, after him. Order and then dual skills, which I don't think is necessary for her to get bonus doubler right here, but. Take a Morgan. Thrust here. And Veronica. And that's the range units, so that protects their um, Ninja Corrin. And from here, you just get Ninja Corrin a second hit, so she can take one ether, and then she selves refresh to take out the second pot. Nina actually gets what does Erdogan of squad? I don't know. I don't usually see Erdogan being defensive. Yeah, she definitely doesn't have speed in the end, so. Not quite. Now I actually wonder if Edelgar would have gotten that kill. It doesn't look like Edelgar would have gotten that kill, 28 and 28. Because Duma has damage reduction on the first hit. Alright. And they did ask us if they could rematch us. Um, and they asked <laughs> to let him know when we were in uh, lift control. They lost control so we wouldn't lose this uh, display right here. So, Seder. Edelgar, Bray type, Legendary Robin, Elamin, Female Bilef, and um, Duo Dorothea or Harmonic Dorothea. So, yeah, from here, aside from, I guess, Veronica on a normal, which we would have been able to. Um, Outspeed by left body, yeah. As long as you can vantage. Which even Tracia right there with the harsh command was not quite enough to outspeed a plus 26 speed by left, which of course she's getting um speed with by the debuffs from this she should be getting hit by Bright Shrine right there. Yeah, getting hit by Bright Shrine and buffed by Bylef means her speed right now is what? 61 uh, without counting her weapon, her A slot, or her C slot. This is the only thing. Alfred got pretty close right there. And from here on, they're all in Edelgard's near safe range. Which is also currently being buffed by a, a legendary Robin. <laughs> Hence the plus 64 defense from Darkshine. So that's one thing we're gonna have to watch out. Like, especially I think on Dark Season, legendary by a legendary Robin is gonna be really strong. Not Dark Season, on Chaos Season. On Chaos Season, he's going to be really strong. Uh, thanks to all of the beat devils that he can turn in your favor. Especially for like a save tank. 
um, been able to take your defenses just all the way up. Right here, she is stacking the Unity and the the Unity on her A slot and uh, Unity effect that uh, Robin gives. Obviously, like the right side, like the only reason that gravity trap is right there. I'm um, in a gravity trap. The um, tactics school is right there, is to force people to have to step on that ball trap in order to be able to break it. So yeah, well played. A little um, scary right there when uh, Alfred was able to come after Bylef, but nonetheless. So far, um, it's not bad for a week. Definitely better than uh, last week. Um, I didn't record, but... I went to the last day without any ladders. Just, I kept finding really really annoying things and again I found a Lucia that was just I had nothing that could kill her on any team that I was running that week but that's pretty much it for today so thank you all for watching I'll see you all next time bye